Welcome, Ms. Legalista here, aka Attorney Sheila, wanting to talk a little bit about this possible prison time that the defendants in the Tyree Nichols case could get for second degree murder. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Okay, now if you recall, this happened back in January. We've got five defendants that are on trial and the charges. Let me go down all of the charges first. So we've got kidnapping, assault, misconduct, second degree murder, and oppression. But I really just want to focus on the second degree murder charge because that is the one that has the highest penalty when it comes to how much prison time they could be facing. Now, remember, we've got several former officers here with Memphis Police Department, Desmond Mills, Demetrius Haley, Justin Smith, Emmett Martin, and Tadarius Bean, all of them facing these charges. Now, when we go to look at what they could possibly get under Tennessee law, it is 15 to 60 years. That is a really long time. I know some of you are going to say, Sheila, they took a life. That's probably not enough time, but think about it. That's just the time for the second degree murder charge. There's still the kidnapping, the misconduct, the assault, and the oppression. So they could wind up with very long prison sentences. This is expected to go back into the courtroom, I believe, in May, the first part of May. So we'll see what the next steps are going to be in this case. One of the other things that is still outstanding is when will the next set of materials be released? Now, as you know, there was a protective order that was entered into in regards to the release of that material. One of the attorneys, attorney ba Ballin, Ballin, Ballin. Somebody told me how to remember how to pronounce this, and I still cannot remember. You guys help me out. Blake Ballin, something like that, has filed a motion for protective order in order to stop the release of these materials. It was supposed to happen last week. Now it's sort of un, on hold, and we'll see when that release happens. And it could be that there's going to be more video at that time. In the meantime, the city of Memphis has said that it has finished its investigation. It has concluded and come up with all of the disciplinary actions that it was going to take for the officers who were involved. In terms of any officer who actually struck blows or hit Mr. Nichols, I believe they've said those officers have all been terminated. Other officers received other disciplinary actions. So we'll take a look at that in another video, but this should give you an update about what the possible sentence could be for these former officers if they are in fact convicted of second degree murder. So if that helps you understand the case a little bit better, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to continue watching as we follow new developments in this case. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.